Hello, welcome to the vlog and welcome to Fong Mata. It's Friday night. We actually came down last night. I was working all day today because I work from home. It's five o'clock and mum was downtown earlier today and saw that it used to be called Nero. What's it called now? Craft House. Yep. They have ten dollar pizzas tonight until five thirty. So we're gonna go down and have a nice early dinner. Hang on, I'm just gonna grab my water bottle. <laughs> and I just had the meanest nine and a half hour sleep. So I'm ready to do absolutely nothing today. Gonna have some toast for breakfast. Yesterday I was trying to find the peanut butter for my toast and it was in the fridge. We rent our batch out to just like strangers and we find weird things in really weird places. And people are like, oh, well it's not weird to put your peanut butter in the fridge. Yes it is. What are you up to today, mum? Work. So mum's down here for work and the rest of us have just come for the ride. So dad and I are just going to be around the house today. I've got some study to do and also at some stage this weekend I am up to the very last run of my eight week running program which means that I have to run five kilometres. And I was going to do it today but it's raining and also I've run every single day already this week. And so my body needs just a day to recover. No um, excuse. Good excuse. It's lunchtime and I have had the most riveting morning. I dropped my off at work and then came back and I've been studying since. I managed to smash up four assignments, which is, I'm stoked with that. It is lunchtime, so Dad's going down the road. He's gonna get some sushi for lunch. I am going to have leftover pizza for lunch. Oh, that was quick. Coming from the gym, bro. My friend Devin is also down here and we have been friends since year one at school. So that's, that was 2007, so that's 17 years of friendship. But we don't really see each other that often now. We live so close to each other that at a point in our friendship we contemplating getting walkie talkies so we could talk to each other from our houses. But instead we didn't do that and so we just played Club Penguin instead. So we have to call each other and then hang up the phone to turn on the internet because dial up vibes and then we play Club Penguin together. He is down here this weekend. I think we're gonna go grab an ice cream this afternoon. He was just down going for a swim and got a hook through his toe and had to go to a and &E. I know I said that I wasn't gonna go for a run today. Oh, sorry, that is so crooked. But I have so much like energy right now. I think I'm gonna have lunch, let it settle and then I might do my 5k. I'd love to just do it because I don't, I don't want to do it tomorrow and I don't want really, I want, I want to finish the week with it done. So that only leaves today and it's not actually that sunny. Like it's very, like it looks like it actually is probably going to rain. But honestly at this point, what have I, what have I got to lose? Okay, here's the plan. Lunch, garage clean, run, ice cream with Devin and then see what the afternoon takes me. Does that not sound amazing? Sounds great to me. Literally had, it wasn't even 30 seconds of me putting down the camera and it is raining. <laughs> Oh yeah, Emma, let's go for a run. Yeah, great idea. Pizza's going in the oven. We have a new oven. Well, it's not new, it's my auntie's old one. It's discovered that it's not actually screwed in, so when you pull the door too hard, it kind of like comes back out at you, which is most definitely a health and safety issue, but that rain is horizontal. Okay, let's just uh, shut the door. I just realized as well, I wouldn't really consider uh, this to be ice cream eating weather. Cleaning is in progress. I've pulled everything out of where it was and there's a cabinet under here. Who would have known? Started cleaning it. I don't think this has ever been cleaned. So that's um, my handprint from using some spray and wipe. I'm just trying to figure out how to sort everything because I don't know why we have so many boogie boards. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is my MGP scooter that I got uh, in the summer between primary school and intermediate, so 2012. It was just a stock MGP scooter from Kmart, cost me $109, used all my Christmas money on it. I did some mods, so I fitted a new back wheel that's blue, because my favourite colour is blue. New deck tape, this is an MGP Pro. This deck tape was for an MGP team, if you know what I mean. And so I did a little bit of a DIY trim up on it to make it fit. Absolutely heinous looking thing, but that's fine. <laughs> Stickers all up the front. Some of these I actually bought from some kids who are no longer kids. They're the same age as me and they have a batch like 200 meters down the road and their dad had a sign running business in Hamilton. So shout out to them. I bought them for 50 cents each and then I got some, those don't match I'm now realizing. I got a couple of hand grips which were blue. It is two o'clock. The sun is back out although it did. We did have a sun shower like five minutes ago so the likelihood of me getting rained on is quite high looking at the grey clouds that are approaching. Okay, I have committed. I'm gonna also, this is my first ever 5k so I am gonna 
do like one of those TikToks where it's like 1k in, two, like you know what I mean. I'm actually nervous. We did it and I got absolutely soaked. There's not a single part of me that is dry right now. It's my hair is birds <laughs> Literally as soon as I get home it stops raining and the sun starts to come out. Uh-huh. How cute. We are going to pick up Devin to go get some ice cream. Also, I'm cracking up at how it looks like I've had a shower. No, I just went for a run. <laughs> I don't think Devin's been in the vlog before, so we're gonna have to do the little three fun facts and give him a little introduction. Well, I don't know how to open this door. <laughs> <laughs> I think the crew decides I want ice cream. Is it okay if someone else? Exactly. Comes anyone, with us? anyone can come. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, um, I have no idea who else is here, but sounds like everyone's coming, so we're all going to get ice cream. Now I feel insecure about my music choices. Okay, this is Devin. I've been hyping you up Hello. all morning. So I need three fun facts. And I've already said we've been friends for 17 oh, no. years, so you can't use that <laughs> one. Pot. Um, three fun facts. Put um, you on the spot. <laughs> we went to Japan together. We did go to Japan together. Where we accidentally water damaged a wall. <laughs> this is also Emma. <laughs> Emma, this is Emma. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this morning, had like quads of steel and <laughs> piggybacked me from the beach all the way to the car oh, and I got a you fish, got hook. A fish hook in <laughs> your Dude. foot and I'm pretty yeah. sure I also put that in the vlog. I still haven't swum since the video because I got five steps in and got the fish hook in. And I'm back at the house. Mum is back from work. Great to catch up with Devin. Ended up meeting all of the friends that he was down here with. Went and got ice cream at this like dessert shop just down the main street. Actually after I got home we realised that Devin never finished giving his three fun facts. I might go back and see them tomorrow and then you can hear the other two fun facts because we were thinking about them while we were eating our ice creams. And so he has two up his sleeve but didn't tell you guys. Mum is making us some chicken tikka for dinner. I've got some kombucha. It is a passion fruit one. And I finished my book Never Never last night. Five stars, so good. But now I'm gonna start reading this one. Dinner time, curry, rice. It on. It's time to eat and not get it on my nice clean jumper. It is 9.36 p.m. and I've been parked up here for like, honestly, like probably a couple hours. I'm working on a 2023 recap PowerPoint. Our whole six of us friend group since Danny got back from America, we haven't all seen each other in one place at one time yet. And when we do, we're all gonna do like a PowerPoint of our 2023 to kind of fully run in on what we've all been up to since we haven't been, you know, living together. I'm working on mine, I'm halfway through. I'm 40 slides in and I've just got up to July. <laughs> it's actually making me laugh, like revisiting my 2023. I have made the executive decision. Hang on, let me turn the airports, I'm not even listening to anything. The weather has been horrific. It is so windy. We had to take the shade sail down because it's like attached to the house and the whole house was shaking. But it looks like tomorrow is going to be absolutely stunning. So I am thinking that I'm going to get up and go down with my Bible to watch the sunrise and do my devo time down there rather than sitting in here. Why would I not go to the beach when it's literally like a kilometer away? That is my plan for the morning. I'm so excited. I did this like at the end of last year and it was blissful. Time for bed and then um, we'll go down and watch the sunrise in the morning. Yay! Okay, I just got down to the beach. You guys, this is so beautiful. The sun doesn't rise for another like 10 minutes, but the color is beautiful. And I feel like the camera is so not gonna do it justice. It never does. Oh my gosh. The sun should rise in between that pole and the island kind of there. So I'm gonna set up my blanket just in front of the pole, not on the beach though. Cause I wanna be like a little bit elevated to get a nice view. Absolute primo setup. I wore socks and stocks so I could take my stocks off and just have socks. I'm also doing a little like TikTok vlog on my phone at the same time so like trying to like make sure I film everything on both cameras has been a little bit of a task but anyway it's time to spend some time with Jesus <laughs> here it comes sun is well and truly up now just finished my little quiet demo time what I read today was really good I read Genesis 35 and what did I take from it that there's always going to be greater blessings when you leave your past and your past and fully pursue what God has for you. The place over there. And I can smell food and coffee. So I think I'm gonna go, if they have pay wave, I'm gonna go and get hot chocolate for me, hot chocolate for dad and a trim mocha for mum. I'm back home and they gave them to me in this like old oat milk container. And then mum got a little trim mocha. I don't even know if they're awake. Um, what happened to this little guy? Oh, he came out of the other thing. I, I'm quite keen to... Okay, I'll leave that for you. See what's on it. Watch the eggs for breakfast, guys. They'll be fine. Oh yeah, they will be fine. I'm just disappointed because I can never get them right. Anyway, what's on the agenda for today? Mum has work. 
dad is currently being instructed on how he's gonna put bark in the garden. Devin and the crew are going to a market potentially this morning, so if they end up doing that, I'll probably meet them down there. What's your task for the day? That's our task without Yumi. <laughs> no, she said your task, not our task. It's stunning setup for online church today. Church is done. I am, I wish I could just like flip the camera around. So I'm just going to do like awkward like, that's where I am. I'm down at the beach and Devin and the crew are down here. So I'm going to go and find them. But I still need to get Devin's two other fun facts. So stay tuned for that really suspenseful moment. Okay, what do I say? Just my fun facts? Just your fun facts. Okay, are you filming? <laughs> yeah. Um, my <laughs> my second fun fact is that Emma's dad and my auntie are high school. Oh yes, high school high friends. High school friends. I think my third fun fact is we were in the same class. What year uh -huh. one? Year, year three, three. Year, year five. Year and seven and eight. eight. Before you move schools. Yeah. Right. It is one o'clock and I'm back from well, quarter to one and I'm back and we have leftover curry for dinner last night. This makes it look like it's from a takeaway shop. We're good to catch up with Devin and stuff. They're all heading back later on this afternoon, so I won't get to see them again before they go. I didn't get in the water. I really wanted to, because the water was so crystal clear blue, but there's sea lice, so I wasn't about to get bitten. We're gonna do some gardening this afternoon, Dad. We're doing barking and planting a few more trees. It's gonna be like what we did pretty much two years, no, three years ago now down at the place in Hamilton. On a father-daughter mission to go and get pittosporums and bark. Is that what we're doing? Are we doing weed matting? Weed mat, yeah. Right. Pittosporums is what we're looking for. What colour bark are you doing? That's what we want. Oh yeah, that'll do. Found us a trolley. Whoa. Well, we've got two pittosporums and a, what are those ones called? A that's not the name that I know. Are we going to do weed matting? We better do weed matting, otherwise the boss will tell us off. <laughs> got the plants, like all three of them, and our bags of mulch. Shout out to Eden who works at the Fungamata Bunnings. She's lovely. Great yarns with her while Dad was trying to find some jib stopping stuff. Alright, home to do some planting. Have yes. you got anything to like dig a hole to put the plants in? Hopefully. Dad's going to show me something really cool and said that I need to bring my camera. Yeah, Cassie, have you done that before? So you see if you can work out where to go to, you're the orienteer. We just follow the line, go that way. I've already found this one, so this is for you to see if you can work out where it is. Four meters away. Is it on this power pole? That'd be a good place to look. I don't even know what I'm meant to be looking for. It's magnetic and it's attached to the power pole. What if there's like a spider? What the heck? First to write your name in there. And then there's no way you maybe hunt all that way just for two milk bottle caps glued together. We're gonna go for the brewery. Where are they? In the bush. We have to pick mum up from work in half an hour. She's gonna expect those trees to be planted. Well, she'll be very disappointed. <laughs> what have you found? I found a track in the bush. I'm coming. Because this really is a track in the bush. Oh, this is cutty grass. Alright, for you, you've got long pants on. <laughs> right, we better go get mum, otherwise she's. Beautiful big tea tree, little tea tree, would you? All the tea trees I've seen have got skinny trunks. We've picked up mum from work and we're back at the house changed and we're about to head down to the boating club for our drinks and dinner and mum's meeting and stuff. I've had my running shoes out in the sun all day because they got so soaked yesterday. They're literally dry already. Jeepers these shoes are so worn. These are not ideal running shoes either. My birthday present to myself is going to be going to shoe science and getting like proper running shoes fitted because those are just not cutting it. Drop mum off at the boating club and where are we going dad? We're going back to Bunnings to pick up the uh <laughs> paper tape that we left sitting on the counter. We come home, we're unpacking the car, and Dad's like, Oh, did you get the tape here? I was like, No, nope. didn't even see the tape. Got the paper tape, she left a note on it. It says, Left behind by the beautiful people from Auckland, in brackets, vlogger and the plant slash bark <laughs> with a smiley face. Because when we were in there, I had my this camera sitting in the trolley. She's like, Oh, you're into photography. I was like, Oh, I have a YouTube channel. Shut to Eden, who's probably never gonna see this. Welcome to the Fongmata Ocean Sports Club. Let's go get a drink and some Kai. morning this weekend's like it's kind of a long weekend but kind of not the public holiday is tomorrow and i didn't realize that it fell on a tuesday and so i didn't take the monday off work which i should have done but grateful to have a job where i can work from wherever so i'm working from the beach today just like i did on friday started the 5 to 10 kilometer kick run program today got some yogurt for breakfast got some toast for breakfast I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea because it's like 13 degrees it's like kind of cold. 25 past 7. So I'll probably start work at 8 and hopefully finish a little bit earlier. It is the most stunning morning. I decided when I was running down towards the beach this morning that I would run along the beach, which I've never done before. Because I know it can be like kind of risking your knees and your ankles to run on the beach. But I was like, ah, whatever. And the sun like just came up over the horizon as I was heading down to the beach. That was really good timing. It was beautiful and there's so many people out about. So many dogs. It was really, really beautiful. So cold. Light myself up in the sun. Have my toast.
Work is finished and we're having friends over for dinner, so we're having burgers. I'm still at work, so I'm gonna go pick her up at five. Dad decided to make burger patties, but I had to give him a crash course on how to do it. I knew you were saying I didn't know how to do it. No, you didn't know how to do it. Oh, I made p perfect burgers last time. You walked out and you're just swishing the mince into a patty shape. We're kind of restricted to what we can add because we can't put any onion and garlic in this, but we have eggs, breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, Italian herbs. Time to go and pick up mum from work. I thought that she finished work at five, so I left the house at quarter to five and I had to go to the supermarket. So I was like cussing to get to the supermarket to get to pick her up on time. And it was like 10 past five and I was like, where is she? So I texted her like, what time do you finish work? 5.30 and I had ice cream in the car. So I bought the ice cream back and put it in the freezer and now I'm going back, back to get mum. All right, we're home. What's your impressions on the hot cross bun? chocolate yeah it's good i like it do you reckon it tastes like hot cross buns it's quite orangey yeah if i taste tested it blind and didn't know that it was hot cross bun flavored i don't think i'd pick it but it tastes good i reckon it's like a hybrid of like fruit and nut and jaffa we have new duvets for the oh here they are for the bunk beds so we've got gingham ones a little picnic blanket moment if you're an og subscriber you will remember when this was two single bunk beds and then we graduated to this one. I don't know what we were thinking. On one side it's got, are those birds? Yeah, they are birds. And then the other side is just, I don't even know what that is. It looks like some sort of bacteria. Stunning. Dinner has been consumed and I am taking myself on a little date to watch the sunset. Even though we're on the east coast, this color that comes up in the sky is still stunning. I just know the camera isn't doing it justice. It's obvious that a sunrise down here is going to be absolutely beautiful because the sun comes up like over the horizon and it's beautiful and the colors are amazing. But I would argue that the colors at this time of the night, especially probably in like five or ten minutes, are absolutely beautiful. Like the pinks and the blues that come up. Like over here, like it's literally, where's my phone? My phone lock screen. That brings me so much joy. Dad and I go home tomorrow morning and I'm so sad. Like I was saying to mum, I was like, I just wanna move down here. I'm just sitting here in absolute awe of how beautiful this place is. God actually popped off when he created the earth. Good morning. Beautiful, stunning day in Fongamata. It's sad though because Dad and I are going home today. It's nearly nine o'clock and I went for my run this morning and it was not as beautiful as this when I went for my run. It was actually really cloudy and like looking like it was gonna rain. Mum's gone to work, Dad and I are heading back to Auckland. We're just waiting for the washing to finish so we can hang it out before we leave. And we'll be on the road back. I don't really know what I'm gonna do when I get home. I wanna do some cleaning out, but we'll see how ruthless I'm feeling. I feel like I need to be in a bit of a ruthless mood to do cleaning. We have made it home. Now it's time to start the task of Cleaning out all of my, I've got drawers, drawers, cupboard, cabinet, like, there's a lot going on in this bedroom. Since I moved home in November 2022, so just over a year ago, it was all like a whirlwind. There was stuff everywhere because I was trying to, like, combine a whole house back into my bedroom, my childhood bedroom. Everything just kind of got put wherever it would fit, and it's not very well organized at all. Guys, it's 5.30 and I have, apart from like a 15 minute lunch break, I've been going at it since then and I have been very ruthless. <laughs> to the point that I actually no longer require this whole set of drawers. That is currently empty. But what you can't see, what is right below the camera right now, this is the pile of clothes. So this used to be all jumpers. So now I've got my like hoodies and stuff here dresses which i've had a big clean out of dresses because there were so many that i just didn't wear then i've got my tops which used to be in a drawer oh why is it zooming hang on oh my gosh i'm so sorry i did not realize it was slowly zooming in that's so awkward absolute rookie era and then i realized that my knits were stretching like around the collar so i've actually made some room and folded them on the shelf and then there's a couple under there as well now i have this which is empty but i'm not like i'm not gonna sell it because one day when i move out i'll take it with me that actually fun fact that and that was my 10th birthday present Kia ora whanau. It is just past 7 o'clock. Dad and I have had dinner and Dad's gone off to a movie night at his mate's place. And I am going to play some tennis with Taylor. Now tennis is a bit of a stretch. The main objective is just to try and get the ball over the net if I'm being honest. Tennis was not my sport of choice as a kid and it shows. I wish I was joking when I say this but I genuinely nearly walked out the door without my tennis racket. <laughs> Oh, oh. Just let the whole neighborhood know that's what you're doing. Almond and car car caramel. Who am I? L R B R N. <laughs> Morris is hottest. Mm -hmm. 